Howdy folks and welcome back to World of Warships. Today I'm playing the De Grasse with a friend and we made a De Grasse Division. The De Grasse is a tier 6 French premium cruiser and it's a pretty good battle, pretty good ship as well. And it's a pretty good day to play a French ship because today is the national day in France. So I'm showing you a battle that I recorded quite a while ago with the De Grasse. It's a ship that I really like at your 6 because it's quick, it got a lot of firepower and it punishes you if you do something wrong so it's a very good ship to learn in my opinion because it doesn't have a lot of armor if any and it's a very good ship overall. I'm using my Conde Captain on this one so I'm using a bit of a lighthouse build but it doesn't work the same way because well, it's tier 6, not tier 11, so you don't have the same module, so you cannot really use a lighthouse build. But it can be effective as well, because in this battle we are top tier, and this New York is about to have a very bad day. Because, first of all, he is playing in New York, which is, well, if there was a competition of all the better ships to, to, to nominate a the better ships of the game, the New York wouldn't even be allowed to attend. So you can see how bad this thing is, it's very slow, the guns are inaccurate, and the armor is not really good. So, I got marked by a ping because, yeah, it's kind of fun to, to get ping, I guess. Yeah, according to Wargaming, probably is. Now, you see, the, the, the torpedo is homing for me because, well, I got pinged. That's the way it works. Now, there is a way to remove the homing of a torpedo, but you have to act really quickly and at the right moment. You can use your damage control party in order to disable the homing of the torpedo. Just be careful because the damage control party got a certain reload, a, a certain cooldown afterwards. So just don't get pinged again. I like to provide this kind of advices in my videos, so if you like this kind of advices or to learn a bit more about the game, yeah, feel free to subscribe and you will see a lot more. Uh, starting next week, I'm going to publish one video per week of World of Warships on Wednesday at noon Paris time. Now, enough for the announcements, let's go back to the battle. As you can see, this New York is about to, well, he's having a bad day already. As if my predictions were right, and this poor guy is just burning again, again, and again. Because, uh, yeah, it's a New York, and we have two of the grasses on this flank, and yeah, he had a very rough day, this poor New York, but fun fact, he's still alive. And that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of surprising, but it doesn't surprise me too much, because this guy played it pretty well. He was he had a slow ship, he understood that the situation was pretty bad, so he's using the terrain to get out of here. The problem being that he's too slow to really get out of a, a bad position. It's the same thing as the Vermont. In the Vermont you choose at the starting of the start of the battle on which side you are going to go, and you just cannot get out of here. And yeah, the New York we, we just catched up the New York. We just yeah, he cannot really do anything, he cannot run away. So, he he probably chose the hill on which he's going to die. And yeah, he's probably going to die here. So, let's unload the guns on this guy. Go, go, gadget to... Yeah, these guns are not really... They, they don't do an awful lot of damage. But, they are pretty accurate, they reload pretty quickly. And, in my opinion, they have a pretty good fire chance. So the Normandy just got the New York. That's good, that's pretty good. And we are somewhat winning the battle. According to two factors. First of all, the kills. We are five kills to three in our favor. And according to the points as well, because we are over 400 and they are not even at 300. So basically, we just have to keep it up that way. And we can win. The problem being that's in a perfect world. 
and it's a standard battle. So if we don't capture the enemy base, the, the battle is about to go on for quite a long time. And there's a lot of, well, there's a lot of room for us to make a mistake. Look at that, we just, learned, we just lost to London. So at this point, I'm like, yeah, we absolutely need to make a move because yeah, I cannot keep shooting at cruisers at, at uh, 14 kilometers. It's not going to work that way. And there's a perfect bayon right here, so I'm using the engine boost. The boosted engine boost, because I'm using a booster for the engine boost, because... Yeah, the, the, there's such a consumable that increases the duration of the engine boost. So, yeah. And the pro bayon is about to have the same fate as the, uh, the New York that we saw earlier. It's a battleship, doesn't have that much armor because it's a tier 6 and well yeah he's just going to burn because he's about to meet through the grasses and he's definitely not going to like that that's the first fire is he going to repair oh i'm not sure i'm not sure well if he lets the fire burn that could be a good way for us to see that it's not a bad player at all but he's shooting a high explosive with a Bayon, so I definitely think he's not a great player. And, well, the worst is that he missed. And it wasn't because of the bad accuracy, it was because... Yeah. Talking about accuracy, uh, as you can see... Yeah. Um, I have... I didn't improve my ship handling skills, let's say it that way. But we managed to avoid the island, so to me that's a good. So this poor Bayon is, is still on fire. He's really... Well, I'm using a lighthouse build, but this guy is becoming a lighthouse. <laughs> to be fair to this guy. Well, the Bayon is not exactly a good ship, you know. It's not very accurate, the armor isn't great. The secondaries are not really up to the task for a secondary focus branch. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel for this guy. And you know what's worse is that at tier 7 you have the Gnite now. And he's going to dread this ship because it's, yeah, it's definitely not a good ship. <laughs> oh. You get even less guns than on the Bayon, but they're not accurate, not at all. You get six guns and each of these, each one of these is even worse than the previous one. They are inaccurate and they are very, very, very inaccurate. <laughs> That's how you can sum up the Gneisner's guns. Now, you can see that regard, according to the kills, it's uh, a 7 versus 4. Versus 5, sorry. So we, we still have a 2 kills advantage. So we are about to win this battle. We are capping the enemy base. And we should be alright because they don't spot us at the moment and they don't have any ship in the immediate vicinity of their of the capture zone so we should be free for 1 minute and 20 seconds but you know when i decide to feature a battle it's because it's going to be somewhat interesting and i'm full life and our do you believe that I'm just going to win just by capping? No, it's definitely not going to happen. So, <laughs> the enemy team is definitely pushing us. I got spotted by something, so I'm trying to get behind the island because I fancy a win. To, to me, the winning is more important than my own damage or that kind of stuff. That's the way I play the game and that's the way I think. Well, Ah, I'm always trying to, to, to do anything for my team to win. That's it. I don't care about my damage. I don't care, really. I prefer to win. It's better that, it's better to win than to have a very good game damage-wise. And as you can see, I took some damage this time. I dodged uh, some, well, Seal Submarine homing torpedoes, because, yeah, why not? Trying to kill the Leander. Can we do something against this guy? Can I lob my shells over the island? Oh yeah, I can. Well, I think. Yeah, I definitely can. 
but it's not getting easier with the, because he's getting closer to Yellen. And the problem being that there is a cut cut boat. Oh, sorry, cut cut, cut off ski. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's the way I like to call the cut off ski. Um, and he's probably going to pop on to pop up on the other side of the island from both sides. And well, that's what he did. So thank you for playing Mr. Cut Mr. Cut Cut boat, but yeah, <laughs> that wasn't a really good move, right? Now next. The Leander is still alive, they still have a sub, and my ASW charge is missed. So we are about to have a pretty bad day, because I'm going to get pinged over and over again. And at this point I'm like, yeah, it's a win anyway, so why not pushing the submarine, and we will see afterwards. So yeah, I cannot dodge this. Well, I managed to, to dodge one at least. So let's try to get the submarine, that would be pretty nice. Oh, Mr. Leander. Thank you for playing. I think, yeah, Catastrophe got the Leander, that's pretty good. And now we just have to kill the submarine. Okay, he got a flooding. Got a flood, that's pretty good. So he's flooding at the moment. And submarine got a limited number of uh, damage control traffic charges. So, if he's flooding now, he's probably going to flood to them. And I'm going to launch another charge ray, another ASW charge right here. And know that the Andrea Doria got his turret on the other side, so I really don't care. I'm just going behind the island and I will be safe. That's going to be. Oh boy. Uh, whoops! Yeah, his turret's on the other side, except for the rear ones. And now it's getting a bit closer. Because, yeah, it was 3 versus 2, but I managed to kill a submarine thanks to my flood. So, only one guy left, the Andrea Doria that killed me, but I managed to launch some torpedoes. Are they going to hit? Ooh, that would be good. And he doesn't have his damage control party available. Do you know what's going to happen to this Andrea Doria? Yep. Vive la France, monsieur. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. And that secures the victory. So, that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish a very nice national day to all the French people among you. And I will see you all next time. So, it's going to be next Wednesday at noon Paris time. Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.